Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm on holiday at the moment on a beautiful Greek island called Kefalonia. A little bit cloudy today actually. A typical astrophotographer brings the clouds with him but uh, it's due to clear up later on. Anyway, this was the perfect opportunity for me to try out this travel tripod that was sent to me by Hypey. Um, the Hypey W28 and I'm very excited to show this to you because this is actually quite a special tripod. It's got a lot of features that you don't normally see and I have had a great time using it and I want to share that with you. So stick around and hopefully this will be of interest to you. My name's Glenn, you're watching Astro Bloke. So this is the Hi-P W28 tripod, carbon fiber, um, and it is so compact. I love the way the feet uh, all fit in tightly together, and it's a special center column that allows that to happen, but it's really small, not wide at all. You can get your whole hand around it. And it, it's only 17 and a half inches long, which is 44 and a half centimeters. But even if that was causing you a problem, you can actually remove the head, the ball head, and make it even smaller. So I think that is quite amazing. And this was so easy to bring out here. Um, in my case, no problem at all. The weight of this thing is 2.98 pounds, which is about 1.35 kilograms. So very light, really easy to carry around with you. But what is amazing about this tripod is its carrying capacity. So this tripod can actually support a massive weight of 55.1 pounds or 25 kilograms, which is enormous. I mean, I would never put uh, that amount of equipment on a tripod bike like this. But what it does mean is that whatever you're mounting on it, it's going to be really secure. It's a very, very strong, stable tripod. A couple of other dimensions. It fully extended. It's 150 centimetres, 1.5 metres, or 59 inches in old money. So, you know, a good height, not the tallest of uh, tripods, but by no means too short. It's very usable. I really do like the uh, mechanism they use here for releasing the feet. It's like these little clamps. You can actually grab them with your whole hand and run them off and pull the legs out. And again, closing up and you can close them down. Now, I actually saw the developer of this uh, tripod online sort of deploying this tripod within about nine seconds or something you just unwrap the whole lot in one go put, and anyway if that's your thing then go for it uh, for me i just like to take a little bit of time setting my tripod up so i'm not too worried about that but what i do like is the mechanisms are very secure you know when they're locked you know there's none of the sort of twist and you haven't quite twisted it shut these click and you know then that that is locked down So one of the great designs of this tripod is the way that it folds up so tightly. And it's because it hasn't actually got a center column sitting in the center. The legs kind of fit into it because there's actually three columns. If I undo this and show you, lifting up, we've got three legs sticking up in the air. And that, and it really is stable. You don't get any wobble at all. So that's excellent for, the, uh, for, for extending your tripod higher and keeping stability. But what is really special about this is this, if we undo this enough, these actually come out. And what these are as a tripod. So we get like a little travel tripod. And I think this is amazing. This is just absolutely brilliant. And one thing it really does do, which I think is just superb. So there's no under slinging of cameras here. We can literally take this off. If I can just open it up and this, we can actually click it to its lowest setting, but this will literally just sit flat down. So you've got your camera literally on the floor, which is just superb. So you've got this extra tripod built in, and if you buy a second ball head, um, which, which you can do from Hypey, 
you can put that ball head on here and you end up with two tripods and this one also with a ball head on the top can get down pretty low so if i just open it up if i can actually push the button and let go of it correctly it's spring loaded so there's one more there I've just pulled the center column out a little bit too far let me just put that back in there just make sure that thread so that center column will come off there we go as you can see we've ended up with two two really nice low tripods and this one you can put a ball head on here and you've ended up with two tripods so you just got to carry a spare ball head with you and it will take any ball head so that i think is a fantastic feature the ball head that comes with the high p is really smooth um, they say it's a professional grade bald head i wouldn't question that it's it works extremely well nice quick release lever very fluid in everything and the nice thing about this lever is um it's you can actually change its position so you can get it to where you want it so you can quickly close it if you need a bit more you can pull it out and move its position so it's you can change its position so it's comfortable wherever you want it whether you want it down or up or in the middle whichever whichever you like so i like that i think that's a, a nice little feature and it's very easy to use and another nice thing is the mechanism for attaching your camera so if we make sure it's released you see this little lock here clips down and the camera you just got your and you've got the plate bear with me and it just sits inside the mount and grab the camera and then you just give it a little twist and that's locked in and your camera's nice and secure there and um, and to release it we just twist the plate and the camera comes out a little feature that they've added in on the uh, ball head which i think is a brilliant idea and i don't know why a lot more other people don't do it is in here built inside is a phone holder so we can literally get our phone it's all spring loaded and there we've got our phone mounted onto our tripod while i'm here i'm just going to put the whole thing back together Make sure that's nice and tight. Pull those legs out. Another thing that this tripod comes with that a lot of tripods don't is the feet are rubber. They unscrew, but built inside them are spikes. So these, oh, I'm going to not be able to get it out now because it's tight. Oh no, here we go. So they literally just unscrew screw back into the other side of the foot and you now have spiked feet now a lot of tripods you have to buy a set of spiked feet to add on these come complete with and i think that is a very clever idea and something really all tripods should come with because you know sometimes you need spiked feet if you're on rocks or something like that or ice you just need that little extra sort of you know need it to stick in You've got it and it's all built in on this one i mean this really is like a swiss army knife of uh, tripods uh, something i like to see on tripods is the quarter 20 threaded uh, parts so that you can attach accessories whether that be field monitors lights microphones um, and this comes with six in total so you've got three on the main body here that go around but if you um, take out the center column raise the center column you've got three more so that's pretty well covered for i mean you could cover this in kit and of course because of its ability to carry a heavy load it's going to take it so is this the ultimate travel tripod i know there's been other innovative tripods out there but this one really does take some beating i really find hard pressed to find a fault with it at all um the only problem i can uh, 4c is apart from the plate that comes with it some argosys plates clash with these bolts i think i'm not sure if they can be removed but it doesn't take every head 
um, every sorry arca swiss plate so you have to use the plate that comes with it but you can put different ball heads on there so you could change that about but really that's a very picky point um, it the one that's there and everything works absolutely brilliantly when i first saw the price point for this at 300 about 319 pounds in the uk i thought that's quite a lot of money for a tripod um, but I must be honest, um, the features on this are quite amazing and they're all useful. They're not just added on and you think, well, what's that for? Every single feature that this has, I sort of can see a use for and I have also almost used. So um, yeah, I think it's been a, it's a really well thought out designed tripod. Um, it's hard to get excited about a tripod, but it's an essential piece of photography equipment and um, they don't come much better than this, to be honest. So let's summarize the HiP W20A. It's a fantastic tripod. It's small, compact, lightweight. Uh, it's completely packed full of features that are really usable. It's extremely well made. And um, the load capacity is insane. Um, I can't imagine ever putting 25 kilograms of equipment on this tripod but believe me if you can feel this tripod like I can you feel the build quality and it's it's sort of sturdiness it feels really robust I think it could hold it no problem so there you go anyway uh, it comes with my recommendation and I would just like to say from well a very nice warm Kefalonia please take care and of course Clear skies.